Many vendors at RSNA 2018 demonstrated imaging analytics. Fujifilm showed how the company's Synapse Packs can serve as a bridge between analytics driven by artificial intelligence and other AI applications. In an interview with ITN, Fujifilm executive Bill Lacey described how the openness of Synapse supports AI-based analytics as well as AI algorithms for workflow and disease detection. Everybody's focused on imaging analytics. Uh, what is critical to adoption is that we bring this imaging analytics AI into use cases in applications like PACS. What radiologists want to see is how will it impact them? How are, how are they going to be able to use it in their applications? So that's why having a platform in between imaging analytics and the applications is critical to adoption. So let's talk about the openness of the Synapse. Why is it important to be open? We're not going to develop all of the imaging analytics. So that platform has to be wide open and allow all of the work that's being done by different vendors and providers uh, to be able to work through the platform and in the use cases in our packs. Frankly, the old way of looking at it was it's a lot of pictures that are being interpreted. But we're going beyond that now, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it, the, the amount of imaging that is available uh, to a radiologist now, it, it can't possibly all be utilized. Uh, but with a technology like AI, that's the, the only way to process the amount of data that radiologists have presented to them. Um, so imaging analytics is enormous. It's going to change applications that have been used for the last 30 years. Um, and we're excited about the way we're going to be able to innovate these applications using AI. So how's it going to change? We're going to be steering physicians. Uh, we're going to, with a targeted medicine, making sure that they're focused on the right areas, making sure the quality is increased, uh, ensuring things aren't missed, and ensuring we can go faster to a proper diagnosis. Okay, now you've got an AI lab here. What message are you trying to get across by that? This lab is about how we're creating a platform to bridge AI into our own applications, but we also need to look at how we're going to move AI in between applications. We're showing the platform with multiple third-party uh, vendors. Uh, we have Koyos, uh, we have Lunit, we have River Rain, um, all as examples of third-party AI using our platform and then delivering those AI results into our PAX application so radiologists could see how multiple AI vendor uh, work can be utilized in their PACs. Um, and so, and then the other area that we're working on is just developing use cases within our applications. So the platform itself may in the future serve more than just radiology packs, but serve AI results to cardiology. It can work within the VNA, it can be utilized for research. So we're showing all that in the lab this year. Now this goes back to the openness of the Synapse because you're able to bring in those third party vendors algorithms to, to run on your system. And that's the real world of a health system. There's interoperability between the EHR, disparate PAC systems, multiple VNAs. And so that's really the next step. I think you'll see a lot of that in the coming year is how do we interoperate further and make AI really something that information can be exchanged across systems um, in an AI ecosphere. I've seen in the past, not in AI but necessarily, but in, in certain areas within imaging, technology takes on a life of its own and it actually can make doing the work more difficult. How do you avoid that problem? Well, I think that's why it's critical that AI be delivered within the applications that physicians are using today. So we have to be very conscious of what changes we're asking of the workflow. We, AI cannot be obstructive to the workflow, um, and that's why our work to have a platform that is focused on not just when we're going to apply AI to certain imaging uh, and, and keeping the results, but how we deliver the results, where we deliver the results in the workflow so that we're not introducing something new to the workflow that would slow a user down um, or potentially uh, delay the time it would take to get a result because that's all contradicts the purpose of AI. So it's two things that you've got to have. One is efficiency, one is uh, benefit yep. to both user and patient. Yeah, there has to be value. You have to have the ability to have a platform that will organize the AI that you're going to use, uh, maintain the results, and deliver them in an AI-enabled application, a PAX that's enabled to use AI results in workflows that will improve. <laughs>